Hey folks, thank you for tuning in. I am Priyanch from Team Signos, and in this video, we'll be implementing distributed tracing in a Node.js application. So let's get started. For the purpose of this video, we'll follow this blog. It's actually contributed by a Signos community member. You can check him uh, his profile out over here. So we'll implement uh, the distributed tracing in Node.js using open source solutions like Signos and OpenTelemetry. So you can follow along with the blog. You can read over here what is distributed tracing in a microservice architecture. A user request travels through hundreds and thousands of services. And ahead of that, then you, you can also read our complete guide on distributed tracing. Uh, yeah, distributed tracing, a complete guide where we describe exactly and in full details why is distributed tracing needed, um, understanding a trace and the terms terminology associated with it. And uh, with the help of Signos dashboards, this is actually how the dashboard looks like. You can read about everything like eliminate the risk of vendor logins which is a major drawback of SaaS tools and more on that so let's get back to the blog uh, no need to make a tangent then in this article we'll be using open telemetry and signals to enable distributed tracing in a sample node.js application so first of all let me clear you on the agenda of this video so in this video we are going to do basically four things uh, we'll install Signos locally on my MacBook M1 Air machine, then clone the sample Node.js application, and then thirdly, we'll instrument the app with OpenTelemetry, and then set the OpenTelemetry exporter endpoint to a specified port of the machine where Signos is installed, so that OpenTelemetry can send data to it. And then finally, we'll use Signos dashboards to analyze metrics and traces. So let's get started with it. You can read about OpenTelemetry and Signos over here. Signals is a full stack open source APM tool uh, that provides metrics monitoring and distributed tracing. And yeah, this is uh, the kind of <clears throat> overview of how this blog follows. So the sample node this application will have three microservices that will be visible on the Signals dashboard. First is user service, then order service and payment service. So here is the overall architecture of how that app looks like. You can have a glance over here and let's move forward. So there are some prerequisites. You need to have obviously Node.js 14 or newer. Uh, download the uh, latest version over here, MySQL 8 or above, and Signos. So let's first get started with installing Signos. You can install Signos on macOS or Linux computer using these three steps. If you are on macOS, then you need to have Docker desktop uh, installed. And if you are on Linux, then uh, the script will do that for you. So let's go to my iPhone terminal. As you can see, I have a Signos demo directory open uh, in my desktop. So let's copy the command and wait for it to get installed. It will hardly take a minute or so. And uh, yeah, it's detecting my OS right now. Starting Docker, pulling some containers, then uh, it will build those containers. Yeah. And then Signos will get installed. So I'll skip to the step where Signos is fully installed on my system. All right, so Signos is installed uh, on my machine on localhost 3310. You can see it. First of all, let me give my email ID real quick. All right, thank you. So let me show you how the UI looks like. So this is the first screen that you will see after installing Signos on your machine. So Signos provides role-based access control feature. So you can create an account with admin access and then invite your team members to collaborate. So since I have my login credentials, I log in. You can create an account if you are the admin. All right, this is the first screen that you will see after logging in. So what you currently see on the screen are the four applications that come with the hot rod demo app that we ship with Signos. So you can install Signos without them also. Uh, you can go to docs and find the required docs for it. So let's move back to the blog. And uh, yeah, you can visit our documentation for instruction on how to install Signos using Docker's form or Helm charts as well. Just click on this link and you will be directed to the necessary blog. All right, back to the blog. And yeah, as I just showed you, um, yeah, it shows services from a sample app that comes bundled with the application. Uh, we are talking about this for front end customer driver and route. So now let's install a, uh, MySQL. So I already have MySQL installed on my system, so I won't do it again for you, but you can go over here and uh, choose your operating system and download the community version for yourself and yeah create a, a database called signos and use signos so it will let me show you up 
password is just password and yeah create database signals all right it's, it says cannot create database signals because it already exists yes it does exist and let's use signals then yeah database changed so you won't see uh, database exist you will see like now using signals database or something like that so let's move to the blog and if you have mysql installed and configured with the password then you might need to update the password on the sample app over here so yeah just you have to write the password within these single quotations yeah if you have the password and the username should be root or if if it's not the root then you need to change it over here as well so i'll just uh, i'll show you in the code editor when we open all right so now running the sample application so we have prepared a sample node.js app for you it's over here links will be in the description distributed tracing node.js application and um, yeah let's clone it and open it up so yeah i cloned it over here and it's open in my vs code editor right now so this is the package.json file that's currently open we'll install these dependencies in a while back to the blog and yeah install the required dependencies i just talked about uh, are required from package.json file you uh, install all the dependencies so let's do the work and talk less uh yeah let's use this npm pm i yeah that should be fine and then we also need to install typescript uh, globally so if you face any problems with this just write sudo uh, npm install dash g typescript and sudo for this as well So it's currently installing those dependencies and it might take a while yeah done so let's install typescript now globally and it's done and then install typescript node dev good so open telemetry needs the following packages to instrument the node js app so these are the packages that open telemetry needs you can read about it like exporter collector exporter otlp uh, grpc resources and semantic conventions etc etc and then we need to create a tracer.ts file uh, in order to instrument our services so that file is already being created for you it's present over src tracer.js so this is how it looks like kind of we define traces over here and uh, you can also use the shutdown method to uh, gracefully shut down the SDK before process shutdown or on some operating system uh, signal. So the question might arise like uh, why we need it. So the answer is we need to initialize the open telemetry before our application gets loaded. So if your application begins requiring packages before OTL is set up, then it can create some issues. So that's why you need to have these lines of codes before any other line of code. So you can check out the code sample over here. And then step four says to set up signals as the open telemetry backend. So this is kind of the most important step and one of the most crucial steps. So where it says IP of the machine. So it means like the IP of the machine where Signos is installed. So in this case, Signos is installed locally on my machine. So you can uh, write localhost over here or 127.0.0.1, both mean the same. Or if Signos is installed on some domain, then your endpoint is the domain.com 4317. So we'll uh, run this command several times and you will see in a while what I'm talking about. So then, yeah, the step where we run the microservices. So let's do that. So we need to have uh, three different terminal windows because we'll run user service, payment service, and order service for our application. So let me copy the command. It's for uh, the user service. Go back over here. Let me make it big enough. And we'll see if we get any errors. Uh, okay, yeah tracing initialized so 
no we did run into some error yeah we did run into some error because we need to change the password over here because my uh, my sql is configured with the password yeah so we need to write the password over here it's present in src model index.ts so let me go src model index.ts and write password save the file run the command again and this time hopefully we won't get any errors all right tracing initialized and yeah we do not get any error so likewise run all the other microservices this one is for the payment service let's go back and uh, we'll wait for tracing initialized log yeah tracing initialized all right so now the final order service Mm. all right tracing initialized and db initialized as well so let's go back and yeah you can ensure that the microservices are running on different ports that's order order port should be on 8080 user port should be on 8081 and payment should be on 8080 and yeah this is how it should look like and then confirm table creation so let's see uh, if our table looks like uh, this or not so we'll use signals database and show tables for it so let me go back over here and uh, okay use signals and show tables so yeah we have orders and users table made in the mysql database that's how it should be so now let's visualize trace with signals dashboard so for that we need to generate some user data by interacting with the sample app and for that uh, you can use the below command in the root directory to launch the ui and uh, yeah we'll do that real quick go to item terminal and let's use this one all right so for some reason the port picked uh, 5000 is in use so yeah i will use the other port because 5000 port is busy on my machine so yeah this is how the ui looks like kind of minimalistic ui you just need to click on create user then it will create a username abhishek with id 5 and uh, some account details then transfer fund to it uh, select a product place the order for it and yeah order placed so this is kind of we are just interacting with the app to generate some telemetry data and let me do it once more let's buy macbook air and done so yeah that's all we have some data and let me open up signals and uh, yeah so let's refresh a couple number of times yeah you can see uh, user service over here let me refresh once more and you will see payment service and refresh once more to see the order service as well so let's click on payment service order service or user service anyone which you wish let's click on user service and we have some data on the overview metrics of the application latency graph you can click over this point and view traces for it or you can also go back and view traces for the top endpoints that we just hit so let me go and view traces for this and uh, yeah you can see on the left hand side that we just transferred from services to traces tab and uh, towards the left you can see some powerful filters you can sort by minimum or ma uh, maximum duration filters with uh, components operations all these things and towards the top you can uh, sort by function of rate per second maximum duration and all things are grouped by service name operation names and this chart that will be here the detailed chart will be set according to uh, the group by method that you choose so let's now uh, click on one of the trays let's choose this one and yeah this is the trace details page which we have four spans and uh, this is the kind of gain chart and flame graph view that comes uh, that we ship with signals so click on any of the span let's choose this one with 0.3 ms latency and towards the right you can see the tags associated with it you can see the express name the express type the process pid and all those things uh, associated with this span let's click on a different span and you can see the uh, details being changed over here 
so if you want to see a more detailed uh, version of the trace details page so let's go on the front end one the dummy application click on any of the traces and yeah i was talking about this change by service name and you will see this we just chose front end so we'll see the front end one go and uh, select by operation so you will see different different charts over here so let's sort by the least amount of the duration cool. and yeah this is the much detailed trace details page we have 50 spans in this trace so the red ones that you see over here are actually the error span and i get to know this because i clicked on this span i went to events and under the error tab you can see is this is a redis timeout error so there are currently two redis timeout error that we have on this page so if you click on uh, these 15 traces 15 spans and click on focus on selected span then you will just have a clear overview of these 15 spans in case you have thousands or 2000 spans in a single dashboard so that might be a bit a little clumsy to look at so you can click on reset focus to go back to the state and yeah that's pretty much it we have successfully instrumented our node.js app and these three services are present over here you can install signals play around with all the features all the traces tabs um, by operation and yeah these are all the operations that currently we have and play around with these methods duration dates and the filters towards your light uh, towards your right so yeah, that's all for this video if you have questions about signals or this instrumentation definitely reach out to us on our slack channel or comment down below uh, our slack channel is a community slack channel a place where we discuss things around open source uh, observability and apm Links to everything will be in the description below. Um, looking forward to your feedback on how we can make Signos better. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.